without us. Not too long. Did you miss me a little, ladies? Forget it. You could have stayed away three weeks. Xana attacks zero. Well, a nice quiet summer, huh? Kind of. Ever since Xana discovered a way to leave the supercomputer and then managed to access the World Wide Web, we haven't heard anything. No news is good news, right? That's what you think. I trust Xana as far as I can throw him, which is why I just reprogrammed the super scan. From now on, we'll know where the big bad wolf is hiding. Well, that's great, Einstein, but how's that gonna help? Well, First of all, we can try to find out how he plans to use the internet. Cool, and then you send us in after him so we can crack a few heads. That's about it. But wait, getting you into the internet isn't all that easy. So first, let's get a handle on what his scheme is. Here we go. Yeah! Well, let me remind you, we have to pick up our class schedules before lunch. So let's move. Ulrich, wait a second. You know, I did a lot of thinking during the summer, and I have something important to tell you. Tell me, I'm listening. Hey, come on! Be right there. I'll tell you later, okay? Something important to tell you? Like what? I have no idea. You think maybe she wants you to ask her to marry her? Yeah, right. I was gonna ask you to be my maid of honor, Odd. No class on Saturday huh? morning, meaning that on Friday night... We can go to the movies? Forget it! It means I can go to the movies. Huh? Hello, Ulrich. You know we're in the same class again. Cool, huh? Yeah, cool. If cool means our worst nightmare, then you're right. Being in the same class is really cool. Very funny. Have yourself a good laugh, Odd. Enjoy it. Get it out of your system, because in a few seconds, you're going to be crying. <laughs> <laughs> see you real soon, Odd. Did you see that? Hey, why so sad? You're not in the same class as we are. I'm not? Hmm? If Xana attacks, what'll we do without him? It was already complicated with Yumi. Now it's gonna be impossible to get organized. Well, what's more, I'm not gonna be able to copy off you. My grades are really gonna go down the tubes. Well, there's only one thing to do. Yeah, what's that? Mm -hmm. Go for broke. Okay, while he's going for broke, we'll go for lunch. Hang on, what was it you wanted to tell me? I wanted to say that I... Hey, Yumi. It's really great to see you again. Did you have a good vacation? I'll tell you later, okay? I really have to see him, ma'am. It's a matter of life and death. I'm sorry, Odd. Mr. Delmas is not seeing any students this morning. I'm not here as a student. I'm here as a friend. A friend? Uh, yes, I mean as a friend of Sissy's. There's something really serious going on, and I've got to speak to the principal. Man to man. I'll see what I can do. Uh, sorry, sir. Odd Delarobia insists on seeing you. Yes! <laughs> Jim wants to start up a basketball team this year. Seems he played pro ball. But he, he would, would rather, rather not, not talk about, about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you want to tell me? Hello. <laughs> oh, Hiroki, what do you want? Just wanted to say hello. Aren't you going to introduce me? No. Cool it, uh, sis. I was going to introduce <laughs> my new pal, Johnny. <laughs> Listen, Hiroki, just because you're in junior high now doesn't mean you have to follow me around, okay, you better bro? better be nice or I'll rat on you when you come home late. Oh. <sighs> 
What a door! Your sister's really gorgeous. You're out of your mind. So, it seems my Elizabeth has a problem. Oh, well, sir, when she found out that we weren't in the same class this year, she just flipped. Hmm, I see. I suppose I'll have to try reasoning with her. There's not much else I can do about it. I'm sorry to contradict you, sir, but you see, all you have to do is put us in the same class, and presto, problem solved. Hmm. Impossible. It's far too complicated to change the composition of classes. And in addition, Mr. Morales was quite clear when he requested that Stern, Belpois, and you should be separated. Jim? But why? I have no idea. Why not ask him? Fantastic! The Super Scan has located Xana. I'm off to the factory. Gotta find out more. Wait up. I'll go with you. Okay, what I wanted to say was that, well, during all last year, I see... Oh, Rick! Oh. Oh. I just got here and you're leaving? How come? Yes! Oh. Jim, can I come in? As usual, he's never there when you need him. There, Jim. Okay, nobody will bother us here. Go on, I'm listening. Right. I think we've both been running around in circles. We have? One day we're together, the next day we're not. One day you're jealous, the next day I am. And that's why I think we've got to clear up our relationship. We can be friends, but that's all. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Jeremy? We've got company. Xana has sent a ton of monsters to Sector 5. He's probably mad that we found him. Well, that could be it. But then what is he planning to do there with all of his troops? I'll head for the scanner room. <laughs> okay, I'll warn the others. But what's that supposed to mean, friends, that's all? Isn't it clear? Ugh. Yeah, okay, friends and that's all. Fantastic. That's just great. Uh, Jeremy. Oh, okay, fantastic. That's just great. Ah, uh, uh, no, I'm, mean, yeah, we're on our way. Jim Morales, disco, film, enter. Why you'd rather not talk about it, Mr. Morales. Our gym teacher really burns up the dance floor, and we're gonna burn it on a little CD. <laughs> yeah? Be right there. Oh, Jim, just the man I wanted to see. Oh, really? What about, huh? About disco. No kidding. Oh, I love disco. <laughs> I was even pretty good at it back in the old days. I can see that. Groovy. I guess you know all about the film. Paco, the king of disco. Uh, uh, no, never heard of it. Oh, no? It's a fantastic film. I was going to submit it to Gustave Chardin for his film club. Uh, uh, I'm not sure that dud is worth showing at a film club. Oh, so then you have seen it, Jim. Uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, I mean, I, I'd rather not talk about it. Sure, no problem. You know, I got really interested in the film club because I'm pretty lonesome now that all my friends are in a different class, if you get what I'm driving at. Oh, hey, give me that right now. <laughs> ah! You guys, what's the matter, huh? Is there a problem? Nope, no problem at all. We're the best of <laughs> friends. Great, that's a relief. Head for the scanners. I lead us there already. About <laughs> time. Everyone else is waiting for you. Transfer off. Scanner off. 
Jim, but with what? I know a secret he'd rather not talk about, and that he doesn't want anyone else to talk about either. You know what? I think blackmail's really lame. Wow! Since when did you get so high and mighty? The end justifies the means, doesn't it? No. no. <laughs> okay, thanks for your support. I bet you'd be happy without me in class. Of the sector. Great. Now get into position and I'll enter the code Scipio. Holosphere system online. seen that one before. We haven't been there yet. But what are they doing in there? How am I supposed to know? You're the ones on site. Listen, instead of talking, head for that room, guys. Can we get in through here? No. Access is through the Celestial Dome. Hurry up! <laughs> Don't forget to deactivate the countdown or you'll be back home a lot sooner than you think. You've only got a few minutes to find the key. Key in sight. Looks like you got your Z game going in. Lay off, will you? Did you talk to her? Lay off, will you? Jeremy, we're at the elevator. That's good. There are more and more monsters in that mysterious room. I've got a bad feeling about this. Jeremy. Where do we go now to crack some monstrous heads? Head for the south pole of the dome. That's where you can get into the chamber. Vehicles, Jeremy! Coming up. Hey, maybe that's the place where Xana has his annual monstrous ball. Cause up to now, we haven't seen any. Right. But look over there. Bullseye! There's the A-game! Ha! Get 
real, man. That was me who got him. Uh, it was? This is no time to compete with each other. Move out. Access? It's pretty hard to miss, huh? Great. Go on in. Hey, what are you guys doing? Yumi and Aelita are already in the passage. Yeah, we know that. If I didn't have an XYZ game going, we'd be there by now. If this monster would just stop flying for a few seconds. Ow! Okay, I get the picture. I'll give you some more laser arrows. You're made of. Yahoo! Nutcase. You've got a full supply. Cool! mechanism and go. Hi, how are you ladies? A little impatient. See the monsters? What are they doing? <laughs> They're firing at some sort of blue ball. If Santa wants it destroyed, then it's got to be important. Okay. Then it's down with the creepers. Right. Go on. I'm going to try to find out more about that sphere. Let's 
Listen, whatever you do, you've got to stop the creepers from destroying the sphere. Why? Because that is the heart of Lyoko, the direct access to all of the core programs of the virtual world. If the monsters destroy it, it's game over for good for Lyoko. Hurry up, the sphere has only two protective layers, and the first one just blew. It's your turn now. Her turn for what? She can't do anything. Watch. <laughs> Alita developed some new powers during the vacation. She's perfectly capable of fighting like you can. Jeremy, look at that! Oh no! She's been devirtualized! Are you saying that... That's right! Uh, I can't believe it! What's going on? Come on, hurry up! Hey, do you realize that you almost gave me a heart attack? <laughs> Would someone tell me what happened? Well, it seems that even if Aelita loses all of her life points, she won't disappear forever. She won't? How come? Of course. I was too dumb to think of it before. Ever since you recovered your human memory, you're exactly the same as us. We don't need Code Earth anymore to bring you in. That'll really help now that Xana is determined to destroy Lyoko to keep us from finding him on the net. That's great, Aelita. You're a full-fledged Lyoko warrior from now on. <laughs> Just friends, and that's all? Yep. Oh, and what did you say? I said, okay, fantastic. Okay, fantastic? What's the matter with you guys? I'll never understand you two. Where are you going? To see Jim. Oh yeah? Be careful, good buddy. A bad deed can backfire on you. Huh? Hey, I got news for you. If you came here to blackmail me, you'd better think again. Anyone who thinks he can pull the wool over my eyes is gonna be in for a surprise, you hear? Here. Blackmail isn't really my thing. I'm very sorry, Jim. Oh. Odd? Do you mean you did it just to be with your pals? Well, boarding school is tough enough, but without your friends. Let me see what I can do to help. Really? Okay, thanks, Jim. You're a real pal. Well, after all, I was young once, too. No kidding. I wonder what you were like. I had blonde, curly hair, and, um, uh, and I would rather not talk about it. Now get out of here! <laughs>